Welcome to this ASP.NET video tour of localization. The new code-free localization features in ASP.NET 2.0 makes it really easy to translate your web apps and support many cultures with nothing but a few markup changes. I'm going to start with a new website. I'll call it Localize. And to begin with, we'll build um, a super simple web page that consists of nothing but a button and a label. Let's go back and look at the uh, source view. Okay, what we're going to do is make it so this page works both in English and in French. Uh, to do this, we want to add a new ASP.NET folder called ASP Local Resources. And if we add a specially named file in here, this resource file, as long as it looks like or has the same name as default .aspx then the strings inside here will be substituted at runtime for the English version of our page or the default version of our page. Let me show you. So we have a button 1 on our page and the text value will say hello and we also have a label whose text value will say English. If I copy this page and paste it right back into the folder but rename it so it has FR at the end that FR is the international code for the French language. And if I go in and simply change this to the French version, bonjour, and let's see, Alt 0231 is the C with the uh, Alt 0231, that's the C with the Cedilla at the bottom, Francois. And let me save this. So now I have two XML files. There's the English version of the text and the French version. In fact, let me show you what it looks like. Down here at the bottom is where the relevant XML data is. What we need to do now is attach our two server controls to those values. And the way we do that is very easy. We use the new meta tag meta resource key equals button one and we do the same for the label meta resource key equals label one finally we have to go to the end of our page declaration and add culture equals auto and by default um, it will choose English US and also culture UI culture equals auto Okay, let's view the page and see if this all works. So my default language right now is English US. And just what we expect, we, the resources were chosen from that page, from the default at ASPX ResX file. If I go and set my internet options to include new languages like French, and then change the default order to make French higher priority, and choose OK and hit refresh, I get the French version of the resource file. So, so far so good. Let's close this. And now let me show you those resource those resource files are particular to that uh, page default at ASPX. If you want to have global localized resources you can create a new folder called global resources and you follow the same kind of concept where you create a resource file and then inside here you would say um, let's have a a global resource for welcome in English would be welcome. And let's say we want to have a, some kind of default color. Um, for English we'll make it light blue. Now the French version of this file, we copy that and paste it. Again, strip that off and put the FR tag and change the color to light green and change welcome to the French equivalent. Now, to use the global resources, we can't do this implicit uh, coding. Notice there's really no indication of, of what we're going to do here. Uh, ASP.NET is taking care of looking at or examining the ambient language culture set by uh, the browser, and that's passed in through a um, HTTP header. Um, if we want to programmatically set these things, so let me add a welcome label to go at the top, and we'll put it in between this 
tag here. So I'll drag a label on and change this to welcome. If we switch back to our design mode, I can bring up the properties for this control. And inside here, this thing called an expression. So I'll use the expression dialog to set the text value equal to the resource coming from the global resource file where the key was called welcome. Now notice when I press OK, this text box right here has a little blue square. This indicates that, that the value for the text for that label is coming from, it's bound to that expression inside the XML file. This is a pretty powerful concept. It, it also means I could bind it to other things like a background color. So again, let's go to the expressions and choose the background color for that button and tie it to resources color. Now you can only do this trick here with the global resources, but these expressions are a pretty powerful way of, of doing more complex things. And the implicit localization is meant for your basic values like the text and the tooltip. And it's also on a per file basis. So let's see if this how this looks. So there's our French version. That's good and we got the French color. Now to get back to the US English, I swap the order and hit refresh and it works. We have a different banner text, but we've also changed the background color. Cool. So let's let's go to the next step and do something a little bit more complex. If I go to the um, let's say let's drop down here and put a, an HTML divider, and below that I'll put a calendar control. Followed by another label. Um, we're going to see how the calendar, and we'll use this label control for currency, we'll see how these get localized correctly. So this will be our currency label. And I think this, this part is really cool. 